What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Ashen Winds new world event in less than five minutes. All right, here we go. So first thing you need to know is that this is a world event. It can be difficult to find. I've experienced where it's not the easiest thing to find. It's not really common like when um, the ghost event came out, the ghost ship event. But it is a world event. It's in the rotation. So when you come into a server, you need to look for a big giant red tornado. Go to that red tornado. It'll be in an island and you will find the event. Now, next thing I want to talk about very quickly is my opinion on what weapons you should use to beat the boss. So, number one, I think you need a sword. Number two, you need either the Eye of Reach or the Flintlock. And I'll get into the reasons for that in a minute. Next thing I want to talk about. So, when you get to the island, you're going to find one of four bosses. So, the one you see I'm fighting in the background... This is just one of the four. They all have do the same thing. They just have different names and look a little bit different. Uh, also, there's some accommodations for defeating each of them um, five times to get some tattoos. All right. That being said, let's talk about their abilities. In the background, what I have playing for you is the different abilities uh, that the bosses will use. Um, so the first is a flamethrow. So they just throw a, a, a big flame into the sky. They'll throw them at you. They'll throw them at your ship. Uh, if it hits you, it catches you on fire. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but that is one of the first abilities you'll run into. Also, they spawn a guard. So this is a bunch of skellies. So this is where the sword comes in. Uh, be sure you're up to speed on your sword dashes. It comes in huge, especially as you progress through the event. Um, it spawns more and more skellies. So with the sword lunge, you could kill five, six of them at a time if you do it right. Next, and, and you just saw it not long ago, he will spawn a du big dust cloud. He will generally do this after he spawns the guard, and it makes it very difficult to see. Um, there is a radius of it, so you can run out of it, or you can just fight him in the dust cloud. It's really not that difficult. Next is he breathes fire. So he will uh, use an ability where he just will uh, spray fire all around him. You don't want to get too close to this because it will kill you instantly. This is where the Eye of Reach and the Flintlock comes in handy. Uh, it, keeps, it helps you keep your distance from him um, for a lot of his abilities. Next is also a, a, an ability uh, that he will use as to a reason why you want to stay away from him. And that, that is he'll explode. It's very similar to the Skelly fo uh, Forts where uh, they have the explosion and it will knock you up in the air. So it's very similar. Next... It's an ability that I that they do. I don't really get it, but it's one of the abilities. They'll jump at you. They usually miss. I really don't get the purpose, but it is one of the abilities. And then lastly, uh, I call it Death from Above. You kind of saw it in the background a little bit. It's just essentially uh, the big tornado will have meteors, kind of like a volcano eruption fall, falling from the sky. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, real quick point on this. You'll kind of see in the video, we have our ship at a little bit of a distance. You kind of want to keep it for this ability because if the ship is too close, uh, it will hit the ship and cause you problems. All right, next, real quickly, um, when you go to fight the boss, there's three phases. The first, um, he uses m everything but the death from above, essentially. Um, the second the ad is added to the death from above. And then the third is death from above plus some geysers, which you kind of saw. So that's basically it. You can see the loot. The biggest thing you get from this is the flamethrower, which you can use against other players, other ships, and skellies. Uh, it's a fun little item, and it's good to have around. So guys, that's it. Last comment. Loot kind of sucks, so if you're doing this for the loot, it's not really worth it. Um, do it for the accommodations. Do it for the flamethrower. But anyway, that's it. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe, and stick around for more content.